it's that time of year again when Santa gets us working really hard. Apparently the triathlete people have been very well behaved this year and there's a lot of wonderful swim, bike and run related presents to wrap. Oh, Ardreth, have you seen the pile of amazing gifts? I reckon those people watching are going to be hoping that they've been good enough athletes this year. And I guess if they haven't, well, there's still plenty of ideas for them to spend their precious Christmas money on. Ho, 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 ho. Right then, Ardeth and Siliana. That's the elves, by the way. I hope you're good at wrapping because we've got a lot to get through today and also a lot of delivering too. So let's start with something rather exciting. The brand new Wahoo Element Rival Watch. And why not throw in a heart rate monitor too? Because I'm feeling generous. Ho, 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 ho. No way. Has Santa Claus gone mad? He's including both of these things. How generous is he being? Oh my, I mean, look at this. He's even got a really lovely box. I've heard about this watch, actually. It's got a multi-sport handover function. So when you come out of the swim, it will transfer all your metrics and data over onto your Wahoo bike computer. Get on with your bike. And then when you oh. get in from the bike onto the run, it will transfer all your metrics back onto wow. your watch. Wow. I quite like the look of that and the sound of that. I don't think those triathlete people will notice if they just have a nice box. Well, right? they are getting these heart rate monitors anyway. So we've got the <gasps> Ticker X, the Ticker Fit. The Ticker X actually what? does running cadence, your bike cadence, HRV. Oh, it they goes, don't need this, do they? Yeah, they'll be fine. That's fine. Yeah, Santa will be happy. That's fine. <laughs> Right then, what next? Well, hmm, clothing is a safe bet, don't you think? Personally, I love socks at Christmas. Anything with a little sparkle. What can you guys rustle up for us? Oh, Ardeth, I'm really confused. Has Father Christmas gone mad? Because those triathlete people, I thought they didn't wear socks. Well, I'm with you here, but I, I mean, I have got some socks here, and they, from in silence, they're, they're very nice. Look at them. Oh, look at these. Fashion. The Ooh. sort of ones you see look. Gustav Eden and Christian Blumenfeld wearing, look, if they're they good enough for them. my stockings. Oh, well, yeah, actually. There's lots of pairs there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll have those. Yeah. I'm going to keep these. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that will be fine. I mean, they don't, traffic don't wear socks. Exactly. But um, Father Christmas this time has sparkles and, and this, this GTN limited edition t-shirt ticks the box. Don't you think it's got a nice little sparkly silver? I reckon we can give them one of these. Well done, our death and Sylvana. Aren't you doing well? Now, what else would triathletes like at Christmas, I wonder? Dear Father Christmas, this year I've been exceptionally well behaved and a very dedicated triathlete, so I am wishing for many wonderful things. Please, can I have a ruck raft to help with my swimming adventures? Please, can I have something to help with my training? and to get me fit and strong. I love reading, so some books would be lovely too. Now, is it right that triathletes love to push their bodies to the limit? For fun. Now, what do you say? Do you think they'd like something to help them recover? Oh yes, what a good idea, Ardeth. Do you think you could wrap that foam roller over there? I think he means this from Brazen, but I'm really confused because it's a foam roller, but it's flat. How does this work? It's, it's flat. Huh? That's not a foam roller. Well, I can't roll. Well, Where's that going to roll? It says pull. Pull. Oh. I'll pull this. Oh, I don't know. Pull. Whoa. <laughs> Well, talking of recovery, we've also got this Recover Pro Ooh. percussion massage device. <laughs> oh, what does that involve? How does this work? How does this go? So we've got. Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. One? That's the on button. Oh. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> 
Okay, that's enough, you two. Into my sack, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, on to some serious stuff now. Triathletes love to train. Ah, I think we have just the thing. What? What thing? Well, you can't see it, but it's a subscription from Peekers. It's an AI coach that is built by actual real people, real Olympians. Well, that sounds like hard work. I mean, but what are they going to do when there's no swimming pools open or gyms open? Or maybe they're just traveling. Well, <laughs> I've got just a thing. Zen 8 Swim Trainer. So you can swim on the go. You can swim when there's no swimming pools open. You can, well, you can have some great fun. This have is brilliant. Whoa. So here is the swim base. So you lie across this and then attach your swim cords off there and then you can use your swim cords. It's like the ultimate swim cords But there's system. still no swimming pool. Yeah, that's brilliant, here we go. Oh. oh, and I'll address this one more thing that we've got that I think triathletes would love for working out. Melio have kindly sent us all of these bits of stretchy elastic, which are perfect for home workouts. Yeah, I, I, I don't, <laughs> is this how we do it? Oh dear. Not a triathlete, are you? <laughs> okay, people, please don't copy our dress. These are actually apparently perfect for strengthening all of your triathlete muscles, especially those swim ones when you can't get to the swimming pools. Uh, th that's great, but um, could, could someone give me a hand? Right then, we need to keep these triathletes inspired to do all of this training. They do so much of it, you see. So we need to find something to help keep them motivated. Hmm, do you think these triathlete people ever read? Oh, I think they might do, and I think we've got a couple of ideas. This book here from GCN. Hmm, Endurance. Did you ever learn to read at Elf School? Oh, and there's bicycles, pictures in uh, it. How to cycle further, Mark oh. Beaumont. So oh, I've heard of him. Your complete guide to riding any distance from 50 miles to around the world. Oh, wow, that sounds um, like a... Lots of... Lots of pictures, that's, that's certainly my kind of book. Oh, well, if you're worried that we're just talking about cycling here, well, there's a book about how to run a very, very long way. She's La even pushing a buggy. Land's End to John O'Groats. No easy day. Claire Smith ran all the way from the top of Scotland to the bottom of England with her own feet. Madness. Well, well, very, very good. Well, now, maybe something to help these athletes with their day-to-day -day routine, or maybe adventure more. Well, mountain biking is a very fun thing to do, but it does make your bike awfully dirty. And to be honest, even the roads at this time of year can be awfully dirty too. But I hear that these triathlete folk, they love to ride all year round in whatever weather. So I wonder whether they'll like this kit from Muckoff. We've got some extra bits here, just thrown in for good measure, to get their bike nice and oh. clean and sparkly again. Oh, can I have a look? You can, yeah. Oh. We've oh, got drivetrain yeah. cleaner, then oh, the... Oh, look! There's even a comb! <laughs> look! Heather, I don't think that's what... That's, that's meant to be for cleaning in the nooks and crannies of your drivetrain. And then we've got an expanding sponge. We've got this stuff. I've heard this oh, stuff. A draft! Look! <laughs> you, don't, you don't get it. <laughs> Great fun! Put, put it back. I don't think Sam to be very happy with us messing with this. Okay then, what's, what's this then? Ooh, ooh, this is a rock raft and it's by above below and I think I might know a triathlete who might have put this on her wish list. It basically enables you to go on swimming adventures. I mean, GMBN and GCN are bikepacking in every other video and I think we could do some swim packing. Oh, 
well done, you two. As you've worked so hard, I've got a little treat for you here. Now, I know you're not triathletes, but I think you've started to realize just how hard these triathletes work and how much they'd appreciate something like this. So here's some chop. Hang on. I think I could be one of those triathletes. They sure do get some pretty good presents. Mm, they do, but this year I don't think they're going to be getting any quirky chocolates. These are even triathlon specific ones. Well, on a serious note, and uh, as serious as we can be when we're dressed as elves with chocolate around our mouths and talking with silly voices, we do hope you have enjoyed our Christmas wish list. And if we have missed anything, there's anything that you like out there, please do drop it in the comment section below. Perhaps you've already bought it for a loved one, or maybe it's on your own Christmas wish list, then please do drop it in the comment section down below. Yeah, and if there are any of these presents that you like the look of, well, we are putting them all in the description beneath this video. So do check it out and go and check out some of those great um, products. And trust me, these chocolates are really good. <laughs> anyway, I think that just leaves us to say, Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! <laughs> and obviously give us a like if you've enjoyed it. And remember, you can subscribe to us on YouTube and you can also follow us on social media.